If you have a gambler your standing problem, a masochistic personality, a whole fuckload of time, and aren't bothered by imbalanced meta bullshit, consortium of cockmonglers I mean League of Legends is God's gift to your shitty gaming world. People who play this game have abnormally tiny penises, or no penis, because they like dress up, house, and only care about playing a game other than Mein Kampf and Call of City with their conformist hipster boyfriends. In this game, you are led to believe you are playing some kind of RPG, but quickly realize that your character's level is reset every time you play. You're not even playing your character. You're controlling some no-name jerk off called a summoner, who is actually controlling the people killing each other in the arena. Rip off Inception more, why don't you? It sounds like you're some huge pussy who can't fight for themselves, so you mind control a bunch of 14-year-old stream characters to do the work for you with no power of their own. Sure, you're so-called summoner, otherwise known as a feeble attempt at making the player feel relevant, levels, as you win or lose each round, but it gets worse. Ever notice how all the new cakes in Call of City get all the trash weapons with no good skills or perks, so that they can suck faster? And then all the obese birds who sit in front of the goddamn game from release day shit all over everyone with their superior kits of skills, weapons and characters? That's goddamn preschool. Prepare your brown star for some riot-funded flesh stretching. But grab sag I mean whales dude. Isn't this game a mimosa I mean MMOBA? Excuse me, I thought that was pronounced doge. I guess the people who came up with that term also coined similar shit like dubstep. Here's a list of things that Riot Games didn't steal from doge. Okay. Now that that's over with, let me detail how the average laugh out loud game goes. Because a bunch of Dago wannabes do it, everyone goes to the same locations every game. There are three lanes, five on five, just like Dota, since they stole the whole fucking game. You have an anus I mean bottom lane, which consists of a hibbity hibju fuck who takes all the gold paired with the most useless fuck bag who does nothing. A middle lane whose job is to pretend that the jungler won't gank their candied ass. The smelly homeless jungler who you can just spray a can of repel every three minutes for 75 gold to deter from killing you. And the goddamn shithole who called top lane at the beginning. Who also just fed the enemy team five kills in four minutes. Whatever role you're filling, you're also cutting your wrists. Because you realize you just wasted all your time playing, suddenly try bush goes shake shake. Your finger hovering over the flash button goes shake shake. In the blink of an eye, the whole enemy team is suddenly behind you, cutting off your escape and ignoring the gigantic stone tower hurling balls of tickling energy at the minions instead of the players. In a rage, you hit alt and f4. Hoping that the tribunal will show you mercy and won't ban your sorry ass for a week. Know what I really hate? A carbon copy of another game that then differentiates itself from its competition by taking pride in the most minute and specific fucking changes. Know what's worse? In League of Shit's case, those small changes make the game infinitely worse than the game they were trying so desperately to copy and make money from since they didn't own Blizzard's megalithic success, which was Warcraft. I don't care that some people who helped make Dota form Riot Games, does that mean they can't make something goddamn original? Even the map looks the same. Don't even try to tell me that there are different maps and game modes to choose from, because they're all the same anus-loving low-hanging ball-sucking garbage. Remember the Kellen Dagger that let you hit in and out of dangerous situations and required gold, tactful execution of the item, and an entire item slot to wield. If you don't, fuck you, but if you do, every goddamn ass clown who bothers to get past a certain fake level I mean summoner level, is given the opportunity to use this skill for free, even at in-game level 1. 
it totally invalidates any goddamn need for acquisitioning, and the idiots who play this game actually tell you in chat, after they get raped, if the guy who just killed them used their summoner spells, so that you can kill them easier due to the fact that they already used their get out of jail free cards. By the way, nobody uses this skill. Hannah, just kidding. It would be surprising. If anything less than 9 out of the 10 people playing pick this flash shit. I could go on and in about how the summoner spell system ruined the game, but we all know that the homosexual orgy riot games takes way too much pride in their ugly creation like a child who just took their first dump. I bet the game would be much more balanced if they removed everything with the word summoner in it from the game. They could also hire Bungie to do their matchmaking instead, because even Halo did a better goddamn job at that shit than these fox sticks. I'm pretty sure the goal of this company is to get really inflated in gargantuan bubble form, like the US economy, sell itself off to the Chinese, and then have a good laugh when it pops and everyone rages before moving on to the next Dota clone. I dare you to play this cesspool of zombified American subculture for more than a week without dating yourself a bit more for doing it. I'd rather not play a game where I only have a 20% chance of victory if I become Jesus and have a flawless game, but you're a huge pussy if you don't do the dare, so have a noob, get fucked, feed more, forfeited 20 minutes. Negative Dota out of 10.